Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Kelly here. Oftentimes, when I try to psycho my friends to invest, they will give me reasons like, Ha, huh, investing ah, I scared lose money le. Or, I busy finding girlfriends le. Or, I will retire after work le. I just want to Netflix and chill with my neighbor Xiao Ming. As a result, 1 in 3 Singaporeans do not invest. On top of that, many people think that investing is just gambling. Let me tell you this, if investing is gambling, our Warren Buffett Coco is a god of gambler already, which might actually be true. But did you know that you can invest like a pro even if you don't have time, even if you don't know anything, and even if you don't have any money? Just kidding about the last one, you need money to invest. There are lots of ways you can invest your money without having you to spend too much time. So in this video, I will show you how you can invest like a lazy bum bum. I will start by showing you the easiest way to a slightly need more time ways. And best of all, all these methods will give you the same returns as the pros or even better. So without further ado, let's start right now. First on this list, we have the good old index funds. In fact, it was so good that even our god of investing, Warren Buffett Coco, recommends this way to most investors. If this is your first time hearing about index funds, let me try to explain in a way that even my chai fan auntie, who always calls me swiker, can understand. So imagine, you want to eat chai fan, but they have so many different features to choose from. Some of them are good, like the fried chicken, and some of them taste super bad, like bitter god. Normally, you will pick one meat, two veggie, then pray pray that you make the right choice. This is the same for stock investing. You have so many stocks to choose from, but you can only pick a few and pray pray that you invest in the right stocks. Index funds solve this problem. In a chai fan store, an index fund is you carrying the chai fan auntie. I want to eat everything. Then the chai fan auntie be like, Okay, so I can, let me get a bit of everything for you. Then you will end up with a bit of all the dishes. These dishes represent everything about the chai fan store. If it is a good chai fan store, on average, the food will taste good. So that's what an index fund is. A bit of everything. Warren Buffett Coco recommends us to invest in index funds because many investors are bad at stock picking. They may choose the wrong stocks and do badly. Instead, by using index funds to invest, you are having a bit of everything. You won't have to choose stocks if you are choosing everything. So now, instead of betting one company will do well, you are betting that entire sector will do well. There are all kinds of index funds available. You have index funds that represent the entire country. For example, if you think that US will do well, you can pick the S&P 500 index fund like VUSD. Or if you think Singapore will do well, you can pick STI ETF. You also have index funds that represent a certain industry. Like you have SSLK Technology ETF. It has a bit of all the US technology companies. RUHC Healthcare ETF where you have all the US healthcare companies. If you are super lazy and don't even want to choose index funds, you can create something called the lazy portfolio. By the way, this portfolio really exists. I'm not making this up. Basically, in this portfolio, you can choose index funds that represents the entire world. That way, as long as the entire world improves as a whole, as long as some leaders don't anyhow start World War III, this portfolio will do well. This portfolio is also known as 3 fund portfolio because it has 3 funds. The first index fund is IWDA, which tracks developed countries like US, Japan, UK, France. The second index fund is EIMI, which tracks developing countries like China, Taiwan, Korea, India. Then the third index fund is bond index funds to give you a fixed income, which we don't really need because we already have CPF acting as a bond index fund. I won't talk too much about this portfolio because it's an entire topic on its own. If you are interested to know more, comment down below and I will make a video about it. So in summary, index funds is a good way to invest for most investors. Next, you have robo advisors. This is another good, lazy way to invest. Looking at the name, you might think that it is a robot, which it is not, or you might think that it is an advisor, which it is not also. Worst name ever. Instead, robot advisors are just computer programs that help you to invest. In simpler terms, you give them money that give you profits. Over the long term, of course. This is one of the most no-brainer way to invest. And I mean it in a good way. Because you don't need to study the stocks. You don't need to look at the charts. All you need to do is choose a robot advisor, sign up, choose a portfolio, give them money, then wait patiently while they grow your money. Then you might ask, wow, so good man, what's the cash? That's one cash. You need to pay a very small fee, like 0.6% to the robot advisor, then it will do all the investing for you. It's like our public transport, right? You just need to pay $2. Then now you have your very own personal chauffeur driving you to your destination. Of course, together with everyone else lah. Just in case you feel this 0.6% fee is expensive. Remember that fund managers easily charge 2 times the amount. 
but consistently fail to deliver over the long term. And this is considering that they have all the sophisticated tools, access to all the data, and pros who are much better at investing than us. Meanwhile, robot advisors have shown that they were able to beat the market consistently just by using algorithms. Take for example, Scythe has an algorithm called Automated Risk Managed Investments or ARI. When the market is going down, it will rebalance the portfolio to reduce the downside. But when markets are going up, it will change the portfolio to increase the upside. If you are interested, I've already done up two videos reviewing Stash Away and Scythe. All in all, robot advisors help you to invest so that now you are free to do meaningful stuff like playing Mobile Legends Bank Bank and watching Falcon and Winter Soldier. And best of all, you do not need to have investing skills to invest in robot advisors. But speaking of skills, this video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes for all sorts of topics. They have tons of classes on personal finance, stock investing, and options trading. I'm always looking for ways to improve myself. And right now, I'm taking a class called YouTube Success, Script, Shoot, and Edit with MKBHD. He's a super successful tech reviewer on YouTube and I want to be as successful as him when I grow up. In this class, he teaches the entire process like how to research, script, film, edit, uploading, and even how to grow your channel. And because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, the first 1,000 to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. After that, the annual membership is less than $10 a month, which is super affordable for all the things that you can possibly learn. So go click the link in the description. Sure, you will support this channel. But more importantly, you will kickstart an entire chapter in your life where you will learn new skills online. With that being said, let's get back to the video. Next up, we have actively managed funds. Now, there are two kinds of active funds, active ETFs and mutual funds. They are similar to index funds in the sense that if you buy one fund, you are buying a bit of everything. The main difference is that index funds are passive. There's no one managing it. So when you buy index funds, you will perform exactly the same as the market. Market up, your portfolio will go up. Market down, your portfolio will go down. Then in actively managed fund, there's a real person behind actively managing the funds. Again, let me use the Thai fund analogy because I like Thai fund too much. In active funds, the auntie will handpick the dishes which she thinks is the best for you. Like, striker, you so skinny, you need to eat more meat. Come, I get more chicken and fish for you. Then, if she thinks some dishes are bad, she won't get for you. Like, striker, today veggie too dry, not nice to eat. Auntie don't get for you. Ah. So, basically, that's an active fund. A team doing all the research, then buying and selling stocks for the fund, which in turn will hopefully give good returns to investors. One of the best examples for active funds are, you guess it, ARK ETF. Famously known for predicting that Tesla stock will rise substantially, ARK ETF investing team is very unique, which is investing in disruptive innovation. Just to give you an example how well ARK ETFs perform, let's look at the chart of S&P 500. From 2015 all the way to 2020, they were on a godlike bull run, right? Now, let's put in ARK into this chart you will see that ARK's return makes S&P 500 bull run looks like almost a flat line. But before you throw all your money into ARK ETFs, know that past performance does not guarantee future performance. You can check out my Senpai's Joseph Carlson video warning about the danger of investing in ARK ETFs. Besides ARK ETFs, there are actually a lot of active funds which you can invest in. If you go to FSM1, you can find some of them with the fund selector too. The downside of investing in active funds is that their fees are much higher than robot advisors and index funds. That's because there are real people behind the funds and the fee has to be higher. Otherwise, these people will be eating grass and drinking rainwater. So that's why if you are investing in index funds, you need to make sure that it is a good fund and it will outperform the market. This will make the high expense ratio worth it. But if the returns are bad, you might as well take your money and invest somewhere else because it's the fund managers who are earning money, not you. Next, we have individual stocks. And this is also the method I'm using for myself. You might say, Hey Calvin, I thought you are talking about investing for lazy people. Why individual stocks is in this list? Ah? With stocks, I need to study them, see charts, rebalance my portfolio, my la my la. Hold up, investing in stocks doesn't actually need to do so much work because all the work is actually done right at the start. Here's how. First, you identify stocks which you think are good and will be around for a very long time. That can be products or services which you use daily. Like maybe you like to use Johnson & Johnson strawberry shampoo 
and you trust the company, you can just invest in them. Or maybe banks, everyone keeps their money in banks like DBS. That means you know for sure that DBS will be around for a very long time. In that case, you can choose to invest in DBS. What about food? Everyone likes to eat McDonald's, right? Especially they are mad outside, <coughs> I mean mad spicy. If you like McDonald's, why not invest in them? Because they will for sure be around for a very long time. There are a lot more examples like Facebook, Google, Apple, Starbucks, Amazon, and all this stuff which we all use on a daily basis. So after you have identified the stocks that you like, the hard part is already over. Now, all you need to do is just this dollar cost average into it. Every month, just take a portion of your salary and invest your money into these companies. Just don't care whether the market is up, market is down, whether it's raining, shining, or even snowing in Singapore. Just consistently dollar cost average into that few stocks. If the company you chose are good, in the long term, you will confirm plus chop profit. Let me give you an analogy for dollar cost average. In Street Fighter, you have a lot of characters, right? You don't have to learn every character and every combo. The smartest way is just choose one character you are good at, like Ryu. Then just spam Abu Get till you win the game and your friend rich quit. True story. All in all, investing in individual stocks do not need to take a lot of time. And best of all, if you choose the right stocks, this method will outperform all the other methods in this list. And that's all for today. Let me know down in the comments below what kind of lazy method are you using to invest. Like, share and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday and sometimes Friday.